So a lot of people wonder what the difference is between a medical neurologist, a chiropractic neurologist, and a functional neurologist because it all can get kind of confusing if you really don't understand the difference between the two. So let's take a second and just break it down. I'm a chiropractic neurologist and I'm a functional neurologist. So what does that mean? So let's start first what a medical neurologist is. A medical neurologist is either a medical doctor, an MD, or a doctor of osteopathy, or a DO, that has gone through a certified medical school and did a neurology residency after school. So basically went through the traditional allopathic medical route. They, did, uh, they got their MD degree or the DO degree, and then afterwards they studied neurology and they did a residency in neurology, and usually they're board certified by a medical board of neurology. So that's what a medical doctor is, and then we'll talk about what they do in just a minute. A chiropractic neurologist is a chiropractor, just like a medical doctor that went through chiropractic school, graduated chiropractic school, and did extra education and training in neurology. So they're a chiropractic neurologist. And a chiropractic neurologist must take a minimum of 350 hours of postgraduate education, a very minimum, and they also have to pass a very scrutinous board examination. It's usually like a 16 hour test with practicums and the passing rate on it is actually pretty low. So. In the world right now, um, as of 2016, there's approximately 700 chiropractic neurologists in the world. Uh, there's been over 17,000 chiropractors that have taken the chiropractic neurology program and 700 that are actually licensed as chiropractic neurologists. And then you look at functional neurologists. The functional neurologist is really the term that more people are starting to embrace because functional neurology is an interdisciplinary uh, association or an interdisciplinary title. So you can have medical doctors that are functional neurologists and you can have chiropractors that are functional neurologists. And you can have doctors of physical therapy that are functional neurologists. So if you kind of look at this from a different perspective, if you look at an umbrella, so you have functional neurology or functional neurologist as an umbrella and underneath that umbrella you might have a medical neurologist, a chiropractic neurologist, or any other type of neurological rehabilitation specialist. So hopefully that breaks things down a little bit of actually what you have to do to become a neurologist. Now if you look at the difference of philosophies and treatment protocols between those different types of specialties, a medical neurologist is, it takes a, a lot of time to learn the diagnosis of the nervous system and treatment using a couple of different tools. And these tools are often life-saving tools that are very needed and have their place in healthcare. A lot of times these are drugs, surgeries, uh, different types of prescriptive medications such as 100% oxygen or, or different things that might be more um, medicinally oriented. Where you have somebody like a chiropractic or a functional neurologist that has, does not have the ability to prescribe drugs and does not have the ability to perform surgery, so they use more natural methods in order to treat the same conditions that a medical neurologist may treat. So they may use uh, physical modalities such as chiropractic manipulations or adjustments. They might do physical therapy. They might do vision therapy, vestibular rehab. All of these different types of therapeutic processes that can help make the nervous system function better. So that's the difference between a chiropractic or a functional neurologist and a medical neurologist.